All right. For this problem, it tells us that a golf warehouse send, sells 200 sleeves of golf balls for $3 each, right? The survey says that for every $1 increase, the sales will drop by 40 sleeves. So if you look at this table, right? It says if we increase it for a dollar, right? Most likely what happens, the demand for the number of stuff drops by a little bit. That's what they're saying, right? So originally, if we started at three sleeve at three dollars, we would sell 200 and you just take those two numbers, multiply them to get the revenue, which is six hundred dollars. But now if I sell it for four dollars, remember that two hundred dollars sold before that two hundred dollars sold is now dropped by 40 sleeves, which is just two hundred minus 40, which gives us 160. And then we take 160 multiplied by four and we get 640, which is a slightly higher revenue. Now you're gonna go through this process over and over again. So when we get to five, the number of, of stuff sold has dropped another 40. So instead of 160, we're gonna have another number for our number sold. And then we get a different revenue right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take all our information and we are going to put it on our revenue graph. So on the bottom, we're going to have two, four, six, and eight. And if you think about the revenue, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to make sure you use 40s for each of these boxes here. So 40, then 80, then 120, and so on, up to 640 or 680, which is the top box there. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to plot your price versus the revenue. So that's this column and this column on your graph. And then once you've got that, you'll be able to tell me what price represents the maximum amount of revenue.